So even though it happened a couple of weeks ago, I avoided really talking about it or mentioning it all that much in video form or via social media, but I saw something today on the wrestling interwebs where this was still a topic of conversation, and that is the heat backstage on Leo Rush, the man of the hour. And some of you may be asking, who in the blues to blue fox is Leo Rush? Remember the dude that no sold the table spot on his last independent show before going to NXT? That's Leo Rush. Fair enough. If you don't know about him, then good for you, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but it's amazing to me how the WWE encourages their talent to be on social media, wants them to be on social media, and then we get surprised when dumb stuff happens. And, and you've seen over the past couple of weeks uh, all this talk about how much heat there is and the kid is lucky he didn't get fired and the immediate apology afterwards is probably what saved his job over a tweet a tweet in reference to Emma being released by the WWE I, I can't believe we've gotten to this point here's what Leo Rush actually tweeted I guess these are the things that happen when you're not ready for at WWE Asuka. It's dumb, it's stupid, because actually the company booked Emma in a couple of competitive matches against Asuka, which would go against the whole premise and logic of said tweet. So just in and of itself, that is dumb. It's also dumb because it's not really that particularly funny and has nothing to do with Emma or her job status or her no longer job status with WWE. It's just dumb. And you look at a, a young man like Leo Rush, all of like 23 years old, you, you've got an opportunity here with your small ass. Maybe you should avoid doing these types of things. Maybe, just maybe, focus on doing the right things at NXT to get your ass up to the main roster. Don't worry about people like Emma, because in the grand scheme of things, they are inconsequential. They were inconsequential when they got to the company, they were inconsequential during their time with the company, and they are now inconsequential when they have left the company. They have no impact on you, don't worry about them, who gives a crap? It, it, it kind of speaks to maybe a lack of proper judgment from Leo. It's just a dumbass thing to tweet in general. But predictably, the immediate backlash from the NXT and WWE uh, locker room was swift and severe. And if anybody ever tells you that wrestling fans are the biggest babies in the world, please politely correct them and remind them as you look at the reactions to Leo Rush's stupid tweet that it's people in the wrestling business and the wrestlers specifically who are the biggest crybaby punk bitches in the world. Ding dong, dumb dicks. The world is not all puppies and sunshine and lemonade. Get over it. If I got this outraged every time somebody insulted me about my teeth or my freaking twitchy eye or my receding hairline that a lot of you fuckers wish you had at age 36, you wish you had it at 26, I would kill myself. I'd go absolutely bonkers. In the grand scheme of things, if I'm cool with who I am and what I am, who gives a crap? Stop worrying about what other people say. And in particular, stop worrying about what other people say about other people that aren't even there for the company anymore, that aren't making your company any damn money. Because in the grand scheme of things, again, who gives a shit? It's unbelievable. Like Bray Wyatt. You ain't going to make it here with the Wolves kid. That's what he tweeted in response. Bray Wyatt. If any mother humper... Well, maybe more like daughter humper in that company would know about being a wolf it would be Bray Wyatt how about Bray Wyatt worry about not getting mono or the mumps or whatever the hell he got from freaking Jojo why don't you worry about how you got the mumps Bray Wyatt number two why don't you worry about making your character interesting and relevant which it hasn't been for a couple of years now and number three worry about your own shit worry about your own personal life don't get so upset about something like this because you're sitting there talking about the wolves. Well, if the locker room is wolves and you're getting upset about something like this, then you are the biggest group of retarded wolves that I have ever seen. Dash Wilder, why don't you worry about 
staying healthy. So busy trying to be a comedian, you forget you're a dumbass. Now, you could say technically, if the way he was using so busy trying to be a comedian could be potentially referencing past tense, which at that point in time would indicate that maybe forgot would have been the better usage of that word, which therefore would make him a dumbass. That depends on perspective, though, and not to play grammar police here, but Dash Wilder, shut up. Because your punk ass sat there and deleted the tweet, probably because you got told to or you punked out. All these guys with their freaking fake internet courage, and that's not the fans either, that's the freaking idiot wrestlers. Peyton Royce, like who the hell is Peyton Royce to give any advice to any damn buddy? Wow, kid, didn't you just get here? Professionalism goes a long way. Bitch, you are what, 24, 25 years of freaking age. Who the hell are you calling a kid? I can call you a kid. Because I was in high school when you were entering grade school. If even. Probably not. You probably were in kindergarten or pre-K crapping your underpants. What the fuck are you calling a kid? But beyond that, professionalism goes a long way. The same WWE that celebrated somebody like Hardcore Holly taking the head off of freaking Matt Capitelli. The same WWE that was perfectly fine with Pat Patterson and Garvin and others putting young boys in uncomfortable positions to say the very least of beyond anything else. That's professionalism, right? Or JBL bullying people in the shower for years and all the other crap he did to bully and belittle people. Clearly, bitch, you don't know your history when it comes to WWE. Professionalism doesn't go anywhere. It's all about ass-kissing, political power plays, and aligning yourself with the right people. Professionalism, my ass. And again, it's one of these things, you're still down at NXT. Who gives a crap what the hell you have to say? Get up to the main roster and get over, and then you can tweet some helpful advice to Leo Rush. In the meantime, shut the fuck up and again, worry about your own stuff. Same thing I would say to Leo Rush. I'd say it to you in person, face to face, just like I would here on the interwebs. And leave it to, of all people, the guy who once blacked out on television doing, due to being so messed up on drugs, William Regal, to bring some sense and logic and reason to the conversation. Where he tweeted, we all make mistakes. All the people who've had heat or problems, have I ever joined in the pack on you? Perhaps a chat and a bit of guidance would be better. Being a pro comes in many ways in and out of the ring. Leave it to William Regal to bring some sense to this whole thing. Look, I'll put it this way. Leo Rush's tweet was dumb. And maybe he deserves a little bit of crap for it. But all these whiny baby crybabies going on Twitter and bitching about it isn't helping the situation. And in fact, to me, it's a poor reflection on them more than it is Leo Rush because they're concerned about other crap instead of actually getting themselves over. Furthermore, if we're telling the real truth here, all this mamby-pamby crap about not making fun of somebody losing their job, well, in the grand scheme of things, when the person kind of does it to themselves and puts themselves in that situation and makes that a reality, how sorry should you actually feel for them? I don't give a crap what anybody says. It was okay for Emma to tweet all of this crap, shitting on and crapping on WWE's creative, and fair or not, with some of the things that she said, that's ultimately what she did. So now all of a sudden we're rushing to her defense, where she was able to get away with that for an extended period of time, in large part because she did not matter. Maybe, just maybe, Emma could potentially still be employed if she would have handled herself in a professional way and maybe at times would have shut the hell up, put down the Twitter device, maybe go with the gimmick that Vince gives you or just in general get better at your craft. She got herself fired. In the real world, you make fun of people sometimes behind their back when they get fired and they do it to themselves. You talk shit about them, you mock them. You call them stupid and you do all those things. That's life. And of course, a lot of these wrestlers wouldn't frickin' know the first thing about that. But you, there's no sympathy here. 
and there should be no sympathy. Emma got exactly what she deserved. She wouldn't shut her damn mouth. She crapped on everybody else's ideas without coming up with any real tangible quality ideas, just wanting to do the dumb crap that she did that didn't really get her over to begin with. And as a result, the company, in a cost-cutting move, decided they did not need her anymore, and I applaud them for that. Ultimately, Leo Rush tweeted about somebody who was insignificant and inconsequential and is no longer with the company. If this person was still with the company, maybe that's one thing. But it's still kind of a quasi kayfabe tweet to begin with. And furthermore, again, Emma did it to herself, you stupid idiots. If you can't handle stuff like this, then for the people in WWE, get the hell off of Twitter. Just do that. Do yourselves and everybody else a favor. Because as you, as bad as you might think Leo Rush made himself look, y'all made yourselves look even worse because you got all butthurt and crybaby about this crap. And as far as the whole thing about him having a massive amount of heat backstage, why would he have a massive amount of heat backstage when the company fired that person? And it's not like he was talking crap about a James Ellsworth who really didn't do anything to get fired and shouldn't have been fired because he actually drew something, merch sales, he actually got over things Emma would know absolutely nothing about. She did it to herself, hence why the company let her go. Why would they be pissed about somebody making a bad attempt at humor over somebody they chose to ultimately let go as a business decision? If she meant that much to you, then you wouldn't have cut her. You did because she didn't. This is just so stupid. And it just shows how stupid professional wrestling is today.